didn't go as planned. <laughs> cold but that is really beautiful mm. <laughs> Good morning. who goes there you want to come outside <laughs> nutball <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by that graceful entrance of mine but um Getting up this early for the sunrise isn't exactly something I am in the habit of. And that's why you're here. We're doing this. Water's over here. Knock, knock. Okay, that's a good deal. Thank you. Oh, it is sticky. <laughs> Ew, I don't want it anymore. You see? I get both things. <laughs> what else is, I get nothing. Look at the sky. I'm so mad. We definitely missed an air show. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but I have not moved my butt in a hot minute. So we're going from coffee shop mode to get your butt outside mode. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which way we should get to the Saguaros. All right, I think we've gone long enough on this like little road situation. I think we just gotta cross over. I don't know. Oh. Not good. <laughs> I wonder what it was all for. And it's weird because like we are freaking out there. We're not even like near the main road. It's kind of wild. People have lived way out here in the desert for thousands of years and made it work. <sighs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna call it. Yeah, it's weird because I've taken this trail last year. Like I know that it exists somewhere, but I'm not seeing it and I might've overshot it, but I just don't wanna go trampling all over the cactuses and that's fine. We're just gonna go trot back through this sea of saguaros and find somewhere to hang out and maybe look at some pretty rocks. Mm -hmm. found ourselves a good spot. It's so funny, like I thought to do this and hang out with you today because I have been a little bit of a rut. Like I live on the road and I travel full time. And if you look at my social media, like most of it is adventurous. Like I try to be real and show you a lot of like the messy side because I'm a messy person. It's a messy life. But ooh, I don't know if I'm honest with you, like the past couple days, I'm in this beautiful, beautiful place and I'm just sitting inside the RV trying to get like work done. And I say work because I am working, but it doesn't always, feel like it because I'm just having a tough time. Sorry. Making progress. I don't know. And then I get down on myself and then I just wake up in a bad mood and I start scrolling and I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing, girlfriend? So I said, you know what? Maybe tomorrow morning, which is today, I will wake up and I'm just gonna like go outside and watch the freaking sunrise. And filming it like gave me a reason to want to do that. And this has been the best fucking morning. It's been the best morning.
please don't lay on any cactuses. <sighs> I think what this comes down to is the fact that just because I haven't been the girl lately who wakes up before sunrise and journals like this is, this is page number one, people. <laughs> like I can be that girl. I am that girl and that's what we're doing. Oh my goodness. Well, it's the next day. That jump was better than yesterday. Oh, there's so much to do today. It's gonna be fun. It's actually really good because we're going to one of my favorite camp spots. But otherwise, today is a chore day. Frankly, um, Zach and I are gonna have to tag team everything. Like we have sewage, water, laundry, groceries. What else is there? I think I'm forgetting a big one. Shower, shower. sites right now it's only our fault but somebody did come and park near us they're like right behind these trees we should have thought of this basically like our dog willie not great when it comes to being territorial and with other dogs they do have another dog so we're gonna go try to find like a solo site that still has a really beautiful view oh, god just stuffed everything back here what's going on willie nelson okay That's a later problem. <laughs> okay, so that does look like rain behind me. I think it's fine. It's warming up pretty quickly, so even if we do get rain on, we're gonna embrace it. That's what this is all about. I just love it here. So I just realized that I actually took us on a little bit of a wrong turn. Way back there. Way back there. You know what? <laughs> it is what it is. This isn't my first time I'm called Magellan by many of my friends and family out of pure sarcasm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just in my own world. And that's okay. My mom used to say to me as a kid, it's Carolyn's world. We're all just living in it. And she sure is. So we're gonna backtrack and make it up to the cave. Pretty sure those are like the most deadly vehicle that exists. But I always love to see them because like how cool you just have like a freaking motor. God, people are crazy. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but I was manifesting an old person taking a video of me once we get to this cave. I don't know why. I think I'm just more comfortable asking old people than I am asking young people and I want to get a video of myself. I do have a tripod. Tripod. Just in case, but I figured it's like the Friday before Christmas. It's gonna be busy up there. And this whole group of older, older people I just got caught behind them and the guy at the end was like, you can holler if you want to pass us. I'm like, don't worry. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful view. So I said, I'll meet you up there. Well, I passed that group and now I regret it because some of them are fast.
gotta draw some time. There she goes. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, people don't mind taking pictures. Thank you. It's so beautiful up here. It's like you gotta remember it. Thank you too. I think I've been in a little bit of denial for quite some time now. It's hard to put into words, but it's like the past year, I left in the galaxy. I left my home, I left my job, I left everything. And with a lot of goals and dreams in mind, one big one is that when I was a kid, I freaking loved making videos. I wanted to go into the film business, but as things got closer to like graduating and entering the real world, I realized like I don't believe in myself to make a career out of that and to be able to like sustain my life like that. So I, I got into corporate, sucked my soul out. And ever since then, I've just been out here trying to figure out how to make all of my goals, all of my everything work. And to do that, I think I've given up a little bit of myself to the point that when I create online, it's for the algorithm. And I'm like playing up to be maybe someone I'm not. And that's what this was all about, was to reconnect with like, who am I? I'm 27 years old and I'm not 100% sure who I am. The only way I'll ever be able to make an impact the way I want to is to figure myself out and go on this journey. And that means going out of my comfort zone, doing things alone, go on those solo hikes and do those things that the true crime podcasts I listen to tell me not to do. <laughs> I want to do it out in the world and nature and with you. I want to do it with you and maybe we can figure it out together because I just want to keep chasing these moments. And I think for now that's, that's our guiding light.